Thank you, Sir Howard. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Martin Hume. I'm the Managing Director of Estates for the Cooperative Group. And I'm joined today for this presentation by David Pringle, who is the Director of Investment and Property Strategy for the group. We are the largest consumer cooperative in the world, with 6 million members and 120,000 employees. We operate over 5,000 shops at branches across the UK in diverse businesses, including food, pharmacy, banking, insurance, and funerals. Despite the economic downturn, we are a growing business, achieving record levels of year-on-year -year performance. We're, so, we are a strong and a serious player, and that includes in the property sector. I'm here today to talk about Manchester and to announce our plans for what is the UK's second city. Now, looking at this fantastic Manchester stand here at Mippin, this confirms what a strong story this great city has to tell. You'll all probably know the city for its great footballing traditions, which are now available in shades of blue as well as red. And that rivalry gives you a sense of the passion of its people. And we like to think of Manchester as the original modern city. And that's because Manchester has its roots at the crucible of the Industrial Revolution. Its evolution since the 19th century has seen it flower as a modern city, now at the cutting edge of media, commerce, and cultural life. And Manchester's positive attributes as a place for business put it firmly in the European Premier League of Cities. Manchester boasts a high-quality workforce, world-class universities, and good schools. It also, as we've heard, has excellent transport links, both in rail, but also air and road. And its people are drawn from a vibrant and local communities, with a tradition of self-reliance, enterprise, and hard work. It offers a very high quality of life, desirable shopping, the best in arts and in sport, as well as easy access to our beautiful Peak District, our Lake District National Parks. And Manchester is first and foremost a place for business. After London, it is the first choice for business in the UK with existing clusters of global head offices, media enterprises, professional and financial services. We at the Cooperative have a plan to build on what is already great about Manchester. The Cooperative Group has been a part of Manchester's story for 150 years, and we thrive today on its social responsibility, the social model of commercial enterprise, the founding principle of profit for a purpose, putting people and communities first, is at the heart of our plan. And to breathe new life into an area of 20 acres of this great city. I'm delighted to announce that our master plan has been resoundingly endorsed by the Manchester City Council. And I will now hand you over to David, who will take you to the site. Thanks very much, Martin, and uh, good afternoon to everybody. We're in the north of England, and we're at 53 degrees latitude. 53 degrees latitude runs through the center of Manchester. And in the city center, we will have a new district. 
Today, we are proud to launch Noma. Noma is what we will call our 800 million mixed-use master plan redevelopment in the heart of the UK's second city. It will be built on a 20-acre site, providing links to international air, road, rail transport, and to the many and to the city's many business, cultural, and leisure assets. I say will be built when I should be saying is being built, because NOMA is happening now. Indeed, construction began in 2010 of our new Briam outstanding 400,000 square foot head office, which will be one of the anchors and catalysts for this development. Construction is due for completion in September 2012. Over a 10 to 15 year period, NOMA will take advantage of the cooperative group's unique land ownership at the heart of the city. It will be a mixed use development like no other, bringing commerce, community and culture to the same point of reference. The cooperative group's founding principles of social responsibility and mutual benefit will inform every aspect of NOMA. Over the course of this transformation, NOMA will deliver one and a half million square feet of prime new office space, a million square feet of primed refurbished office space in the numer numerous heritage buildings, a million square feet of residential accommodation, 300,000 square feet of retail space and 200,000 square feet of hotel accommodation. This is a very significant development in the heart of a major European city. NOMA will offer price points to suit all, from small to medium-sized businesses through to corporate head offices. Prospective occupiers will be able to tailor their accommodation to meet their precise needs. Our approach allows the development to flex according to changes in the market. NOMA's residential offer will provide accommodation for families, young people and citizens. Indeed, if NOMA is to be a success, it must, above all, be a development for the people. A dynamic public realm will lead from Manchester Cent uh, Cathedral Gardens through to Angel Meadows, the city's biggest green park. NOMA will create a place for people, with one quarter of its surface area being accessible to all. And NOMA's retail offer will be made better by the open nature of the site, creating an attractive environment for shoppers to come and spend time. NOMA will lead with environmental and, so and social innovations. It will generate all of its power with a renewable energy center, providing for all its need through a smart grid network. It will be integrated into the existing transport network with tram, rail, bus and road connections all immediately adjacent to the site. By respecting the cooperative group's own heritage buildings and the industrial legacy of Arkwright's historic mill and the history of the site itself, NOMA will provide a reminder of the uh, city's deeply established role as a place of global innovation. The commitment that the group has shown to promoting apprenticeships, skills and training through its new head office programme will continue through the development of the whole master plan. By showing that such commitments improve profits and drive success, NOMA will be the first scheme to truly demonstrate a better responsive way of doing business. The investments that we have already made in the site shows that we have the resources to execute NOMA on our own. The case is compelling the location works and demand is out there. But our preference is to work with a partner or partners who share our vision and values and have the expertise to support this venture. We are in those talks now and I would very much encourage anyone with an interest to approach our agents, Jones Lang LaSalle or WHR, for an informal chat here in Cannes or when we return to the UK as well as partners 
we're also naturally keen to talk to any prospective occupiers and their agents. Noma is a vision that which is already turning into reality. Today we're extending an invitation for you all to share in that vision. So I'd like to conclude by thank you in thanking you all for coming here today to hear a little bit about Noma and extending an invite for you all to come across to the Manchester apartment immediately after for a few drinks. CGI will continue for a few moments to um, just express our vision for what Noma may be in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>